Um, how do you guys kind of put this into words after losing your third home game in a seven-game series? I mean, it's, it's disappointing, obviously. Um, it's disappointing. Um, we got to go out there and compete. And, I mean, obviously losing four games in the series means a lot more than, than that. Yeah, to repeat what D. White said, you know, words can't really explain it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's tough, but it's the playoffs. It happens, you know, and uh, they did a good job. You got to tip your hat off to Miami. Um, they did a good job, so it is tough, though. Derek, it, it looked like you left kind of grabbing at your, your leg. What, what was the issue there, and are you all right now? Um, I'm not sure. I'll find out more tomorrow. Their potential then for you getting MRI or something tomorrow then? Yeah, I mean, I'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it, but I'll find out more tomorrow. And then for both of you guys, what, what was the issue? Um, obviously, you guys missed a bunch of shots, but it seemed like they were getting you guys out of rhythm really from the jump. What, what was the biggest thing that tripped you guys up offensively tonight besides just the obvious missing shots? Um, I think that's it, you know, missing shots. And then they coming down and they're hitting shots. So. Um, it puts a lot of pressure on our defense to get stops. And, uh, you know, they were hitting some shots and they got going in the rhythm. And um, we, weren't, we weren't making eyes. So, you know, they did a good job at that. Um, you know, um, they did a good job. I think they were, what, 14 for 28 from the three. So, you know, they made a lot of shots tonight. And we did. Marcus, how do you assess the consistency of this group as well as the season you ended up having here? Um, I mean, we had a lot of ups and downs this season. Um, starting the season off with, you know, obviously um, losing our coach and then getting a new one. Um, and we just continue to fight. You know, um, things weren't always perfect for us, but uh, we continue to, to compete. So, um, you know, yeah, we were a little inconsistent this year, but um, I'm still proud of the way we fought. Um, we just got to get better. Uh, we will. It happens. Um, you know, like I said, you, you created Miami for this one. They did a great job coming out, executing at the right time, and we didn't. And what are the next steps for, you know, you individually and this team? Like, what the, what is it going to take to reach that next level? Uh, we all got to go back and, and look at the film, uh, see where we need to improve, um, you know, and, and, and go out there and do it. Um, you know, um, we've been doing this for a long time. A lot of us have. And uh, that's the beauty of it. We get another chance. We're blessed. You know, God has blessed us with an opportunity. We just came up short. We get another chance uh, next year, and we get to go start. Obviously, uh, not the way that we want it, but we get to go start to, to figure out what we need to do next year. Uh, I don't know what individually for everybody else. Um, you know, they got to figure it out on their own. But me, I got to continue to 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 work on my, my outside shot, continue to get these guys, you know, um, some avenues to, to pass to, um, and just continue to be me, just continue to lead, continue to be vocal and lead by an example. Marcus, you talked about the start of this year, obviously an unusual season in a lot of ways. What, what kind of will stick with you from this season? Obviously, it's like you know more than anyone, it's hard to get to this point. These opportunities aren't promised. What's going to kind of stick with you about how this all unfolded? And um, just how hard we fought. You know, we put ourselves in a hole down 0-3. And we fought our ass off, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, we just came up short. Um, obviously, we didn't reach our goal, but, you know, I'm proud of the way we, we came back and we just didn't give up. You know, we kept fighting. Um, and that's all you can ask for from this group. Um, but you definitely tip your head off to Miami. Marcus, the defense this year, I mean, obviously, a defensive player of the year, the defense was on a string last year. What what made it take steps back? How do you guys improve it? How do you guys become a defense first team again? Um, we just gotta continue to to put defense first. You know, um, you know, we we were so bad on offense last year that you know that was the main focus for us this year. Um, and you know, unfortunately, it took a our defense took a hit from it. You know, we picked it back up, but you know, it happens. You know, um, things happen. You know, guys inserted to the lineup, taken out. Guys get hurt. Um, it's part of the game. It is part of the game. So, 
Uh, we'll be all right. It's, it's something that, you know, like I said, we're just going to go watch the film. And we're all going to come back and, you know, talk to each other what we need to get better on, see it, and go out there and work on it. Uh, Malcolm was just saying how he felt like this team had more of an offensive identity this year after his defense for so long. So how do you think that needs to change? And what was, I guess, the issue of having that type of identity? Um, we're just going out there, you know, put our defense first. Um, um, not really worried about shots, make or miss. Um, defense is, is key, you know, because even though you miss shots, your defense can, can save you a lot of times. And a lot of times our defense have been our kryptonite um, when we're not making shots. So um, I think that's it. You know, just we just got to understand that shots aren't always going to fall, but our effort on defense, we can always control that. And you can't control the shots not falling or, or going in. Um, you take the open ones, you take uh, the right ones. Um, and you continue to play defense. Uh, for both of you guys, it was pretty hard that you know Jason looked like he got hurt in that first play of the game with the ankle. Um, from your guys' perspective, of just his effort tonight, and how much do you feel like you guys were pressing more, just trying to pick it up for him, knowing that he wasn't able to handle his usual, you know, load on the offensive end? I mean, yeah, he took a he took a fall early. You know, he he hurt his ankle real really bad early, and you know he could have came out the game. You know, he stayed in, he tried to fight, and uh, obviously you can see he wasn't himself. He uh, wasn't as explosive, and the ankle was really killing him, and he tried to fight. Um, it just didn't go in his favor. It didn't go in any of our favors, but we continued just to fight and help him, you know, and try to get through. Um, <clears throat> and then D. White goes out with a knee injury as well, and then obviously we know about Malcolm. Um, so it's, it's tough, you know, uh, at the wrong time, but... It's part of the game. It's like I said, certain things you can't control, and, and, and getting hurt like that is nothing you can control. So um, it just happened at the wrong time. And Marcus and Derek, have you just kind of described the emotions of, of this moment? Because you mentioned it's been quite the journey for you guys to get to this point. And just kind of what are you feeling in this moment about the group that obviously everybody enjoyed being around each other so much? Yeah, I mean, I mean, <clears throat> like we said, I mean, it's disappointing. Um, it fell short of the goal that we set at the beginning of the year. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that uh, this is one of the best locker rooms I've been around. And um, I got a lot of love and care for everybody in that locker room. So um, those moments we had off the court, I'll always remember. And um, on the court, we were... We were pretty good, but we fell a little short of our goal, and we got to find ways to get better. Um, like you said, we got to find the ways. You know, this this team has been through a lot. I've been here the longest, obviously. Um, and, um, you know, we continue to fight. I love these guys. I love going to work with these guys every day. Uh, the coaches, staff, um, the organization is great. You know, um, we just got to find a way. We fell short. It's part of it. Um, you move on. You know, uh, we continue to fight, and that's all we can ask for. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.